Hey, welcome back to the Improvement Channel. I can't wait. Today is going to be our first project on the new welding table. So let's get started. Jumping right in, I am working on a globe that I got from WeldItYourselfKits.com. Uh, friends with Richard over there, we did a video together. I'll put a card right up here at the top showing the um, Improvement Channel logo that we built. And that sign is actually mounted there right behind me. If you do order something off of WeldItYourselfKits.com, be sure to use the coupon code IMPROVE and you'll get an additional 10% off and Richard will know I sent you and it just helps. Also while you're helping me out go ahead and share this video with somebody else that might like it. I'm trying to uh, spread the word and grow the channel so all of that kind of help with the thumbs up and the subscribes just really helps a lot so thanks in advance for that. So now that I got everything deburred I'm just running through here wiping acetone on it. All this stuff is about as interesting as watching paint dry so I've got it in some fast motion for you. This PDF you're looking at here, I did get that from Richard at WeldItYourselfKits.com. He will send that to you. He did say that I would be easier off using a globe. And after this has all been said and done, I would agree that that would have been easier because I did both and using the globe was a lot easier. Just keep that in mind. We'll go over some other things, little tips to make this even easier as we go along. But as you can see, this welds up pretty easy. You just put you some tacks down and then when you work on the outside or if you like as you go through you can weld up the inside for some extra practice and uh, when you see my welds on the outside you'll need you'll see that I can use all the practice that I can get I think I was actually running with the gas too low or the gas not on some of the uh, the welds look pretty rough and uh, if you do know what you're doing on welding and you see some stuff here that I could improve on I am very very uh, thankful for constructive criticism so throw it to me in the comments it will be appreciated and if possible I will try to use it if I can at all if I can get to actually apply some of the things that I'm wanting to do correctly if you know what I mean so here I am squeezing these together putting a little tack there because there was a little bit of a gap and you know you get that when you're welding uh, that's the nice thing about welding it's a lot more forgiving than woodworking so speaking of forgiving, I think I'm getting to the part here where I am uh, taking things apart and putting back together. Uh, I mentioned earlier that using the globe things better. You kind of look at that PDF and you're looking at the inside of the globe and things are turned around the wrong way and different things. So, um, you know, this, this isn't perfectly round, so it's not like the pieces of the puzzle fitting correctly they are correct they all fit everywhere for the most part so you can have one backwards and I had the the US facing the wrong direction and all kinds of stuff so um, anyway use a globe it's a lot easier or use like I did I just looked it up on the internet and looked at a picture of it so kind of see where everything goes if you're kind of like me and not the best on your world geography so here we go, we've got things going in the right direction now, or, or for the most part do. So we're putting things back together, and getting them where they go, getting them tacked in. Uh, there's a couple spots I had to squeeze together, and there's some pieces that you will bend over um, into the other side, and it's just designed that way. Here are some of the welds I'm talking about. Like I say, I didn't have the gas turned up enough or something, um, and, and maybe didn't even have it hot enough, kind of looks like to me. Uh, again, any feedback's great. The good news though is I am better with a grinder than I am with the welder. So um, this does turn out really well. Also, um, I did not mention this is designed to be a, a little fire pit for your backyard or wherever. Uh, you can drop some pieces of wood in there and get it started. You'll notice uh, down at the bottom there's actual grates so the ashes can fall through rather than just sticks of wood falling through. And this is the smallest that um, Richard makes. He makes some very large ones that um, you actually have to ship out on a pallet. And uh, those get a little more pricey due to shipping, of course. Um, so here's one of those spots where you, where it was, I bent it over. Um, 
you can see where the CNC plasma cutter uh, just scored it in a couple spots. Well, put it all the way through, but left some spots that could be in. So you want to throw a weld over that so you can grind that down and make that look, make that all one piece. So uh, you can't see it here, but I skipped ahead. I, um, as you can see, I, I made the little pentagon down on the uh, welding table with a sharpie. I try, what you can't see is I've already, this is my second attempt. I tried this once already and just tried to throw them together and uh, that did not work out. So second attempt, I took the sharpie and marked it on the table and that worked pretty well. Um, all of the feet don't touch down perfectly, but again, fix it with a grinder, right? So like I say, fire pit, um, you can definitely use that for that. And I am almost finished with it as far as a fire pit goes, but I'm going to do something a little different with this one. I've got a different thing in mind for it. So stay tuned. And we're going to go over that here in just a minute. Here, I'm just putting down a couple tacks up on the top where you really won't see it. I uh, wanted to get the thing on there perfectly straight. And then I didn't have it on the video here, but I did come back along the inside and weld it up real good. So just doing some uh, finishing touches here with the grinder for all practical purposes. It is now ready. Just going to wipe it off with the uh, little bit of acetone and this thing's ready to be a fire pit. But as you probably noticed on the thumbnail as well as me just mentioning in it, I am not going to use this one for a fire pit. I'm going to go ahead and throw some paint on it. I'm going to paint it a couple of different colors and I am going to have that more as a you know, little art type thing sitting in the background. I think it's a real beautiful piece. So I've also got some LEDs I'm gonna throw in it and I'm gonna have it have that like nice orange Edison light type look to it just by putting some LEDs in the bottom of it. At this point I've got the whole thing primed and it's dried. Now I'm going back with some flat black on the inside of it. So now that I've got that done already, <laughs> I've uh, taken some 80 grit sandpaper here on this little multi-tool and I had a couple of like little high spots kind of where you know the way that one been around and different things so kind of just knocking all the rough stuff off of it with this 80 grit now I'm changing over to 220 with a little bit bigger sander so giving that a quick hit uh, we're going to be ready to wipe this thing down again and start putting some uh, real paint on it. At this point, I've blown it off with some air, and now I've got a little bit of acetone on a rag, and I'm just wiping everything down. So I've got that done. I'm doing the masking off. I'm doing the, the black on the bottom. It really don't matter if the black goes anywhere else. I just prefer to not get it everywhere. Uh, so now the, let, I've let the black dry. Now I'm masking it off so that I don't get any of the blue that I'm gonna paint the globe onto the black, because the black is finished. I found this metallic blue like weeks at Walmart. I was over in the paint section getting something and I saw that and I was like, wow, that is such a cool looking color. And when I thought about building this globe later, I was like, oh yeah, I already know the color. Obviously blue for the ocean, but I, I knew that metallic blue was something I was wanting to use anyway. I know it seems weird, but it just really caught my eye when I was over there and I think it was perfect for this job. Wait till you see the finished product at the end. At this point, I'm not too concerned about getting any of the blue on the inside. I'm trying not to, um, but on this first coat, I'm just trying to get some blue over everything. I ended up getting all of this done with just one uh, can of the paint, which was cool. But what you'll see shortly is once I get this thing turned over, I'm going to stuff it full of uh, more newspapers and type things so that I can get along the edges of the uh, continents without getting blue all on the inside. So uh, you won't see the second coat on here. I come back and throw another coat on it, but this thing is uh, turned out exactly how I wanted it to be. I couldn't be happier with it. And it's gonna make a nice little uh, piece of art sitting over to the side. It goes along good, I think, with my um, sign that Richard made for me, the Improvement Channel sign. So there we go. We are all finished. It's time to put the lights in. Uh, these are just some LED lights that I ordered off of Amazon. I will put a link in the description. I did not have another use for these, so I chose not to cut them and just to go ahead and put all of them in the bottom so that there'd be as many as possible and they'd be bright as possible. 
this uh, setup here come with a dimmer switch and everything so they just basically comes out the bottom grate there uh, cut those wires off the end and uh, left them a little bit different length so they wouldn't ever touch each other and you run that to an outlet and here we go there there's the dimmer on it so we're finished all I need to do is get a few good shots for you guys to see and uh, this one's in the books so thanks for watching um, I've got some other stuff coming up uh, if you will remember on the welding table video I showed you uh, the YouTube signs I'm also gonna have that for the ending now if you like that ending please comment below um, if you can if you like that better than my old one let me know if you like my old one better than this one let me know that too thanks a lot <laughs>